Hi everyone, welcome to Discovery Natural Channel. Okay, so we're going to be creating an aloe shampoo. It's very moisturizing. And guess what? If you guys haven't subscribed, this would be a great time to do so. Today's recipe is coming from Debbie Williams channel. I have always wanted to try her recipes. I watch her videos and I love all the information she gives. She's in the medical field. So I was like, why not try an expert's recipe? So to make my own shampoo, I'm not going to make as much as Debbie made. I'm going to use four ounces of Castile soap. She used eight ounces. And for me, I find this Castile soap very, very cleansing. Now, I'm showing that I use two ounces of Castile soap, but really I use four ounces of Castile soap. I'm kind of making half the amount she made. Castile soap does a great job of cleansing your hair without stripping it. I'm going to be also adding some honey in it. I'm adding half a tablespoon of honey to this mixture and honey acts as an umector. It adds to moisture. It also adds to make your hair soft condition your hair it's really good when you have this in your mixture of hair product i'm also adding almond oil to this i'm adding one eighth cup of almond oil and almond oil will give shine to the hair and almond oil is really good in terms of you know giving your hair that luxurious feel that you want also into this mix i'll be adding lavender oil so lavender oil acts as a microbial it also helps with dandruff lavender oils with hair growth all these ingredients help with hair growth and i'm adding half a tablespoon of lavender oil now i'm going to be using aloe vera gel of the gel from the uh plant <laughs> yeah so we're gonna cut up you know the side that we don't want i'm just gonna cut the sides and stuff and you all know this is a very good emulant this is very good mectin this aloe vera helps your hair grow it's very very good so i'm gonna scoop all that in and after i scoop it in i'll be able to just get everything that i want in terms of the inner filling of the aloe vera okay so now we're gonna blend this aloe vera i want to blend it as smooth as possible so that i don't have chunks of aloe vera and in order not to have the aloe vera pieces in my hair i'm going to also strain the aloe vera before i add it into the mixture you can use aloe vera gel but i prefer to use natural ingredients because the aloe vera gel also contains other ingredients in it that i don't want in my shampoo now you might be wondering what about preservatives i don't have to worry about preservatives in this shampoo because the uh castile soap already has preservatives and here i'm showing you how much i made but in all for my hair i made about six ounces which will last me a while so this is my hair it has been in this bond which i secured with my snappy all the links to everything that i use is in the description area down below and yeah so i first start by rinsing my hair with water and warm water okay and then i section my hair into four part before using this shampoo you want to shake it really good and you see it has that jelly consistency one thing i noticed when debbie williams was doing her own uh, debbie williams aloe shampoo what i noticed was that her own didn't foam up like mine so i don't know maybe the person that she used for her, you know model add a lot of products in her hair before but my hair i have been using a lot of natural products so i think my hair foamed up better the foam was outrageous <laughs> it was so much that you know look at it this is just a little bit of the uh, aloe shampoo it was so much that i had to take it and spread it on the other side of my hair and it was so easy to detangle my hair i just love the sleep if you're looking for a shampoo with great sleep this is what you want to get now if you're looking for castile soap and you can't find it until in the area check my amazon shop amazon.com slash discovery natural and my hair felt so good so soft so you can see i'm left it in my hair for a while i kind of left it for like five minutes so that the peppermint and the lavender and everything would just infuse into my hair and 
oh my goodness i just love the way my hair felt so i rinsed it and after rinsing it this is what my hair looked like my hair was so clean it wasn't squeaky clean like squeaky squeaky you know clarifying but my it was so so clean and my scalp was clean uh, i didn't have any flakes my scalp is normally dry i usually have a dry scalp with a little bit of dandruff i didn't have any dandruff and if you want to know what i've been doing to cure myself of dandruff i have a mix that i've been using and you can click on that link it's my green tea peppermint mix rings i've been using it and it works so well so that is the mixture if you guys love this don't forget to subscribe and also please click like and feel free to share thank you bye